And I just need to do the testing for the audio. So test, test, test. One, two, three. Shh, try this. Okay. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jay and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I don't understand why, but hi, welcome. I don't really have a certain thing that I follow. I like to do makeup and cosplay and I'll probably go out of that direction at some point because I just never have anything straight. That's the and best I, thing though. Yeah. Just not well, that's what doing whatever. That's what everybody says, but I don't know. Anyways, um, this is going to be a fun video, I hope. Um, so for this one, I do have somebody very special and important to me, and that is Kaden, who is my best friend. So, Aww. yeah, so, um, long You're story, not my best friend. Long story, what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> long story short, we've known each other for seven years online. Yes. And we finally met. Um, so yeah. Yeah, like last week. Yeah, last week. We... We did kind of film something, but it didn't really work out, so we had to film Apparently, again. I looked like a bitch the whole time. No, it wasn't that. It was just... <laughs> <laughs> well, besides that. But we had to refilm it, so we're real filming it. So this is the Q&A with all the questions that my beautiful Instagram subscribers gave to me. But yeah, so that's pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to be getting ready for cosplay as well. Uh, I'm meant to be a uh, deco. Todoroki. Yeah, and we're going to have so much fun. We already put in the contacts because we filmed that. It was going to take life. I mean, it took us like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But other than that, um, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Awesome. Transition. So while she's texting her sister, I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick. Yeah, I'm going to prime my face. Without having to read the questions... One of the questions we got that I can vaguely remember was, um, how did, did you guys ever think you were going to meet in real life? The answer is no. And the answer is no, because I was always so scared. Yeah. So I was like terrified that you were like going to murder me. Yeah. She was just like the first night, the first night neither one of us slept and she just kept saying how she was scared, kept waking up thinking I was going to kill her. Yeah. Like... Or you take me away. So to answer that question, no. Because again, I was always scared. And I know Well, look at you with a green ass eyebrow. <laughs> 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 but anyways, um I did try. We did talk about it, but I was always just so afraid that it would it would mess up our friendship. So I just didn't it want did. to meet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I've been with you for two weeks, so I wouldn't <laughs> that you're like tired of me already no literally the other day i was like she's definitely getting tired of me i what? thought you were getting tired of me why i don't know because you just like weren't talking it's the day you you admitted you got homesick oh i didn't really get homesick <laughs> look at me not using what a did, mirror <laughs> what did i tell you that happened that made me like i want to go lock myself up in my room Something happened, I just can't remember what it was. Oh, and I told you. Because it was Ryan, everybody was so used to being there, and you were like, I'm just the odd one out. And it oh, made you feel yeah. unhappy. So, her and her sister have this best friend named Ryan, who, by the way, he's pretty cute. Just saying. If you watch this video, I don't care. But they were, we were all having dinner, and it just looked so natural, and I felt so out of place. So, right after that, I just got very depressed, and I was like, I want to go home. Like, I don't feel like I belong here because Ryan's been the friend for a while already and they told me he comes and stays like the once weekend a month. And once a month <laughs> so it was like and he decided to come the week I was coming down <laughs> so well we were gonna go to New York that's why well that's true we were oh by the way I'm at her hometown so I'm in Pennsylvania right now yeah I'm not I Texas. visit her so the last video I filmed, which you should go watch. I self, will self definitely promo. link it. Yes, <laughs> self promo. But I'm definitely gonna link it um, down in the description. The first video that we filmed on her channel was in my house, and we filmed mine, but that one's not going up because um, this one's going up. Yeah. So I was down there for a couple days, and she followed me home like a little dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So second question. What is something you showed your best friend that they didn't know about before? 
for me, it changed from what we said for the first time in the old video, and it is definitely snow. Because I did not know there were different types of snow. Yeah, and I showed I it to you. Yeah, I literally just thought it snowed. But apparently there's like flurry and shit, and then no. snow that is like stick. If no. not, you can't play so with it. So flurrying is when it barely snows. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> And then like packing snow. Oh, okay, there's packing, packing snow. snow and powdery snow. Powdery snow, you can't make snowmen out of. Well, either way, we couldn't make a fucking snowman, so no difference. Yeah, because we were in company. <laughs> <laughs> we were like... <laughs> Literally, my first time trying to make a snowman and it did not work out. So it made me pretty sad. Uh, yeah, but the first thing... The first thing... You showed me was all your food. I am i don't care if I sound fat. No. But like, because I never had enchiladas before, which is weird because I feel like a lot of people have had enchiladas. Before. Yeah, I mean, even Ryan was like, I know what that is. Well, I knew what knew what it was, sort of. But like, I never had that, or and all that candy and stuff. Mm -hmm. Never had that. Oh, and you also told me about ruffles. Oh yeah. Ruffles is a Hispanic brand. I didn't know that. I thought it was just America. I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm ignorant. <laughs> I forgot to plan. <gasps> what a sin. Sorry. <laughs> I'm <just kidding. laughs> You see Charlie? Look at him. Hi, Charlie. My cutie. Left on my back and it hurts so much when I woke up. He's so fat. Yeah, he's like a 15 pound cat. Oh, next question? Sure. Alrighty. What is something you and your best friend have in common? Apparently, our love for fucking crazy stories. Yeah, we literally, before we even filmed this, we sat here for like an hour talking about true crime stories and like weird, like realistic real stories that happen that yeah like... well like and it's funny because i haven't watched or like read up on any of those in so long yeah and you just like sparked all my previous memories of every video i've ever seen I know. <laughs> so we really have that in common another thing that we have in common is obviously cosplay and makeup because we really love that yeah um although she's a lot better than i am I, she says I'm a lot better makeup than she is. Yeah. Huh? Like, look at this. I'm literally just making myself look like pale. <laughs> no comment, because I will not comment on anything like that. Because we're all good in our own way. So, I'm not going to be saying stuff. My sister thinks I'm really good. And she's like, you're a lot better than me. And I wear makeup more often than you do. And I was like, I just literally spam watched a bunch of YouTube videos <laughs> and just like, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I just started doing it. Yeah. That's everybody how like everybody asks me like how did you learn how to do makeup? I was like James Charles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Manny literally, MUA. Like they literally me. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And like I don't watch as much beauty YouTubers as I used to. But like me either. The ones I watch a lot is still James Charles, Manny Mue, Bailey Sarian, Naomi John. Although she really doesn't do that much makeup yeah. anymore, but yeah, her. And somebody who just started watching, which I apologize for making, using the products the way you don't like, it's Robert Walsh. I uh, really yeah, I've seen Robert him a little Walsh. bit. I've seen him a little bit. Okay, so next question. Sure. Favorite thing about your best friend? No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a lot of things, but I would say how vocal you are. What do you mean? Like, since we met, I feel like you've been very honest with me, and you haven't really, like, I don't know, like, you don't make me feel uncomfortable or anything like that, because you're just very honest, so I know you're going to be truthful to me in anything. If I'm doing something or anything like that, like I appreciate that. I think that's one of the very good. That's one of the things I really like about you. Yeah. Um, Emma says stuff like that too. She's like, yeah, you don't really lie, 
For a while, people thought I could, I didn't know how to lie, and that's not the fact. It's just I don't like lying. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. My favorite thing about you? Literally, you're so much more positive and determined than like anybody else I know. Like I'm a Debbie Downer. I will admit to that. I'm a Debbie Downer. And like, literally, you're the only one that like. Sometimes it feels like you're the only one that believes in me. Really? Yeah, and it makes me feel really emotional sometimes. I'm, I'm sure when people believe in you, like, I'm 100% sure about that. Huh? I'm, like, I'm sure other people believe in you. Hold on. I believe in you. I know. I believe in you too. We're gonna make it. Yeah. And if we don't, we're gonna make it. Yeah. Okay, so next question. The next question is... Um, how do you both feel now that y'all have finally met in person? We answered that one already. Did we? Yeah, that was the first question we no, answered. No, the first question was, did y'all ever imagine you would actually meet? Oh, yeah. So it's, how do you both feel now that you, we finally met? Now that we finally met each other? Yeah. I think it went pretty well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... We talk a lot. We're up really late at night. Right? Yeah. So how do I feel? Pretty much like you're my friend. <laughs> it's funny because I knew, I knew that like it wasn't going to be awkward and that's half of the reason why I wasn't scared to come to you. I feel relieved that we met only because I feel like we spoke about it for so long and like we mentioned earlier, like I didn't think it was going to happen but the fact that you did made me feel so much better. Mm -hmm. And it makes me feel ready for the next steps that we plan on taking. Oh yeah, because we're going to move in together. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it makes me feel a lot ready. So yeah, I'm very relieved and glad that we met. I'm completely happy with how things have gone. Oh. <laughs> next question? You want to move on to the next question? Yeah. Okay, oh, so next question. What are y'all's favorite memories of each other from the past six years? Seven years. Favorite memory? Mm -hmm. It's probably, okay, so like back when we first decided that we were going to be best friends. Uh huh. So this is like many years ago. We used to talk on the phone all the time, and I kid you not, that was like my favorite thing ever. Really? Yeah, like, because I don't talk to people on the phone. Oh, okay. And so like, and like my family was getting, would like get sick of it because it would always be like, oh, you're talking to Jackie again? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get, I get what you're saying too, because I'm very glad that my family came around to who you were even before you like went down to Laredo. Mm -hmm. Like they already knew who you were. Yeah, um, same here with my dad. He already, like my whole family already knew who you were. Yeah. And like they've all even said hi to you before. Oh yeah. Okay, so what's your favorite memory? Um, there's quite a lot, but I'm still going to stick with the same one that I said last time. Oh, that one time you and Emma made me laugh so hard that I was wheezing, and you guys just kept making fun of me. Like, that's always going to be one of my favorites, because not only was it you, it was your sister too. Mm -hmm. So it was like your sister was involved in that little bubble of us, of ours. So far, I feel like we had a lot of good memories. Yeah, and not too many bad ones, except yeah. for the time that you blocked me. Yeah, we're not talking about that, bitch. <laughs> we're not talking about that. So oh, let's just move on. So, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, a YouTube sensation. Really? No, but I really want to be a writer in five years. Me too. Like, YouTube, yeah, that's great, but like, my main goal is probably to be a writer. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to work from home and film videos and do whatever I want. But I feel like that's a lot of people. A lot of people are like that. Well, they're yeah. just like, yeah, if I could, I would. Uh, what about you? What do you see yourself in five years? Um, definitely living with you, but not in PA. Okay. Somewhere out, somewhere in that was in our plans. 
I'm not gonna mention, but like the plans that we have for New York. Good luck in New York. I know. I'm not a big city dweller, and you are. But I'm really not. I just, no, but you want to live in the city. Because there's more opportunities. I know, but I'm not looking for opportunities. <laughs> but, yeah. Hopefully having a bigger social Excuse network. Excuse you. Charlie. Social, <laughs> social network yeah. program going on. But also, like, can you imagine us living the dream? I know. We've been planning this for literally so many years. We have. Like literally, it's always been in our plans. We're, we're just, we're gonna make it one day, that's it. What if you're tired of me in five years? It's been seven years. I know, but not in person. I got you there. I don't think that's gonna happen. And if it does, I'll suck it up. Cause that's what friends do. <laughs> oh, you know what else I hope we see in seven years? More cosplay friends. Five years. Yes. Oh, five years. I meant five. More cosplay friends, because I feel like it's just us. It yes. is depressing. I want to freaking go to conventions with people. Yeah. Well, and I want to have a posse, a squad. It's not will. depressing. It's just like, it's so fun that we get, that we're able to do it together. But here's the thing. <laughs> Here is the thing. You're a lot more introverted than I am. I'm an no, you're a lot extroverted. extroverted. I'm introverted. So like, and like, I don't act like it though sometimes. Like when I was down in you like, don't. Laredo, I just pretended like I wasn't even though I was screaming on the inside. Um, no, I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad. But <laughs> I have my social meter runs out really quickly. Charlie, stop smacking my hand. By the way, my cat's back there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving on. Uh, what do you look in a what do you look for in a significant other? So I don't really date too many people. Like I used to back in like middle school and high school, and it wasn't even like a lot of people. But if I'm being honest, I haven't been looking to date anybody. Mm -hmm. But if, if I had to look, probably someone who understands that like my social meter meteor, my social meter goes kaput and then I just like ignore a bunch of people a lot. Yeah. Like literally the only person I text when I don't feel like talking to anybody is probably you. Yeah. And remember you used to get so mad at me. You'd be like, why the fuck are you ignoring me? And I'd just be like Yeah, I will get so mad when she won't ignore me. Because you're the only person I talk to on a daily basis. Like, I literally, the way you say, oh, you're the only person I talk to, it's literally like the same with you. And it's like that because I literally text you from when I wake up to when I go to sleep. Yeah, me too. Like, all day. Like, as soon as my alarm goes off, I answer your message. Yeah, same. As soon as I wake up, I'm like, yeah, hi, Jenna, whatever. And then with my eyes still closed. But... Um, as for me, what I look for a significant other would be somebody who is very open-minded and understandable to yeah, same. everything and anything that I am. It won't try um, to change me. Yeah. Somebody that will be like, oh, you like to do that? Oh, you like this? Oh, you do this? Okay, perfect, you know? Not for them to get involved, but to just be there and understandable, you know? Not to be, like, mean about it and try and change me. But also somebody with a good sense of humor. Yeah. Or like understands my sense of humor. Can you imagine when we get popular enough and people act like start shipping us? Try to. But like I feel like when people start shipping me with people, that's when like I've made it. They have to ship you with somebody to feel like you're Yeah, because like that means I'm relevant enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like when people start writing fan fiction about you. Could you imagine? People writing fan fiction about you or us? Anything. Like about you, about me. Like fan fiction, Kate and X Reader. I mean JX Reader. Just saying I wouldn't be mad if anybody wrote fan fiction about me. I mean, I'm not saying I'd be mad, but, but like I cannot imagine it happening. Like 
I'll okay. read it and I'll be like, I would never do that. <laughs> My biggest fear though is like somebody would write a fan fiction and it'd be like scary accurate and it'd be like, okay, are you me? following me? Oh shit. What? I Who forgot he has a fucking scar. Yeah. One last question. So last question is which celebrity would you want as your BFF and why? My BFF. Yeah. This is a hard one. Wait, who would who would you choose? Um. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I feel like he'd be really fun, and also Spider-Man. Um. <laughs> <laughs> or like Johnny Depp, but that's just because I really like Johnny Depp. Oh yeah. And like I've seen like so many of his movies. Yeah, I get it. Let me guess. Leonardo DiCaprio. No. No. Bennett I will not want... Yes. I will not... <laughs> I, I knew will it! not want... I thought about saying him, too. Leo DiCaprio to be my best friend because I want to marry him. You can marry your best friend. Well, yeah, but I feel like BFF is like just BFFs. Get me? Yeah. Like us. But like... So, Leo... I'm just saying... But I probably would want Benedict Cumberbatch to be my best friend. I literally like sat here. He was the first thing, name I thought yeah, of. Yeah, because he's so funny. Like the, I don't know. He's just so funny. Like the videos I've seen and everything, how he is. He seems like a such a chill person and super like me. You know, like I feel like we would have like the same personalities and we would really really get along. Yeah. But um, if not him, also um. David Tennant. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I guess that was I the last I think this just went from, like, looking casual to, like... I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the last question. You want to just, like, end it there? Do, like, a little time jump to our last finished look? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can see where it's going. Yeah, you guys can see where it's going, so... <laughs> but yeah, that was the last question that we have to answer. Um, and I guess we'll finish that there and we'll come back with our finished looks. Awesome. Okay, and we're back and we're done. And this is what we look like. Um, basically, the video's over. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sending your questions. And thank you guys for everything that y'all been doing and being so supportive and super cool about all of this. And just being amazing people, I really appreciate you guys so much. So thank you. So, what, what, what can I say? Check out our TikTok because we're going to be making videos. I'm going to link all of those down below. But also check out my Instagram where I'm also going to be linking them. Um, I will link uh, Kaden's YouTube video. Once it's up, no, I will link the, the, the account, um, but I don't know when your video is going to be up. Yeah, but I will link their account so you can go ahead and check that out as well. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Yay! Yay. Go ahead and give that video a big thumbs up if you want. <laughs> okay, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye! Charlie, say hi! Say hi! He looks so mad. <laughs> Look at his snake eyes.